Hello boys and girls, it's time for another story. And today's story is called Bear's Bargain by Frank Ash. I wonder what this book is about. I also wonder who we will meet in this story. Do you think we will meet a monkey? <laughs> no, I didn't think so either because the illustrator drew a bear, and the author used the word bear in the title. So I'm thinking we are definitely going to beat a bear. Now the author didn't tell us, but the illustrator's giving us a clue. The illustrator drew a bird right here. So I'm thinking that the we're going to meet a bird also. Something else that I wonder, boys and girls, is why is Bear standing on a rock? Talk to Mom and Dad about why Bear is standing on a rock. Let's look at the title page, boys and girls. Here is the title page. Look, Bear and Bird are friends. They're shaking hands. You notice something else I notice? is there is only one name, Frank Ash. That tells me that he is the author, he wrote the words, and he is the illustrator. He drew the pictures. He did both jobs. Okay, here we go. One day, Bear said to Little Bird, I wish I could learn how to fly. I'll show you how to fly, chirp little bird, if you teach me how to be big. Okay, said Bear, the first thing you have to do is eat everything I cook for you. And he went inside and cooked a big meal for little bird. Then he made tiny barbells and showed little bird how to lift weights. On this page, the illustrator helped us to know what a barbell was. In the bird's mouth, is a barbell. People use them to build their muscles. So Bear is having Bird use a barbell to get stronger. Did you hear all those bees? Bear had Bird use a barbell. That was a lot of bees. Every day, Bear cooked for Little Bird and made sure he did his exercises. But Little Bird didn't get any bigger. It's not working, is it? said Little Bird. No, replied Bear. But I've got another idea. And he gave Little Bird a pumpkin seed. A pumpkin seed? Why would Bear give Bird a pumpkin seed? Is Bird going to eat it to make him grow? Oh, you think that he's going to plant it. That's an interesting idea. Let's see if you're right. Bear showed Little Bird how to plant the seed. Oh, you are so smart. And he gave him a tiny watering can. Every day the pumpkin plant grew bigger and bigger. When it blossomed, Bear showed Little Bird a trick. If you want to grow one really big pumpkin, he said, you have to snip off all but one blossom. When the blossom withered, a little pumpkin began to grow. One day, Bear carved a picture of Little Bird on the pumpkin. As the pumpkin grew bigger and bigger, so did the picture of Little Bird. Oh, wow, look at the pumpkin. It's almost as big as Bear. Bear must be very strong to carry that pumpkin. Then one afternoon, Bear said to Little Bird, See how big you've grown? I can hardly pick you up. Now you have to teach me to fly. Little Bird was very proud of his pumpkin, and it did make him feel big. Okay, chirped Little Bird, flying is easy. Just climb up on that rock over there, flap your arms and jump. Bear did exactly as Little Bear said. He climbed up on the rock, flapped his arms, and jumped. 
Oh no, Bear is jumping. Do you think Bear is going to fly? Or do you think he's going to fall? They'll start with F. Fly, fall. Hmm. Let's turn the page and find out what happens to him. Oh no, he fell. I hope he doesn't get hurt. But he soon hit the ground with a bump. It's not working, is it, said Bear. No, chirped little bird. But I've got another idea. First we have to go shopping, then I'll show you exactly what to do. So Bear and Little Bird went downtown and bought some paper, sticks, string, and glue. When they got home, Bear set to work. At first he had trouble tying knots. He kept breaking the sticks and the glue seemed to get in all the wrong places. Boys and girls, why is that chair not on the floor? Can you tell your parents what happened? Did you tell your parents that Bear put glue on the chair and now the chair is stuck to Bear? Oh no, I wonder how he's going to get it off. But finally he had made a beautiful kite. Now paint a picture of yourself on the kite, said Little Bird, and I'll show you how to fly it. Flying the kite wasn't any easier than making it. Look what happened to his kite. The string got in all around the tree. I wonder, do you think Bear is going to give up? Or do you think he's going to keep trying? Yeah, I think he's going to keep trying too. But when at last it was high in the sky, Bear exclaimed, Look at me fly. There he is, he's flying his kite. He's finally flying. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed that story. Take a little bit of time and talk to your mom and dad about what happened in the story. Can you remember the characters? And can you remember some key details about the story, some important things that happened? It's really important to remember what happens in the story. Remember that big word? We need to work on our comprehension, remembering what happens in a story. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story, and I look forward to the next time we share a story together. Stay safe and stay healthy.